bit of a climb. And this really long snake piece of art. It's pretty cool. And the spot where it is is pretty cool. Looks like a um, spring might come out there in the wet. And it runs down. And uh, it's a really good rock overhang. Heaps of shells here from middens. Oh, that is a midden. And uh, yeah, there's the undercover bit. Really cool. Some more art up here, I'll go and check out. Looks like the feet and legs of a big man. Big being the operative word. And here we have some, some fruit of some sort, That's some food. Wow, there's lots of art along here. It's a pretty cool one. Goes all the way down. Some multicolour stuff there too. Look at that. This cave goes a long way in. Wish I'd bought my torch, but I'll go and have a look. See what I find in there. I can't work out whether this is just some sort of lichen or fungus. Or oh, because it's quite prolific. So but there's no real rhyme or reason to the patterns. So I'd say it's just some sort of fungus growing. That's a spot to bring the tinny in. Currently it's over there. So we're looking very relaxed. Yeah. Only reason because we are. We are here at Party Cove and um, God my beard's getting big. I must trim that. Um, yeah we're here. I'm wearing my best hat my town hat. Town hats as you all know in the country are generally white, not always. Um, where are we when? We're at Party Cove. And what's happening? Uh, tomorrow there's a party. Yeah. Tonight I think just Sunday. And it's just pre-lubes tonight uh, as of last as last night and the night before. So um, yeah a couple of quiet uh, ales. I'll show you the view eh? Hang on. This is the view. We're just kicking back here, as you can see. Right, got our best party in boots on. And there's the firewood, there's the fireplace. There's 10 boats here now. Uh, well, sorry, there's two. And the rest are catamarans and power boats. Um, yeah, so not a bad spot. Cheers. All these chips of flint here is uh, chipped off these rocks and it's what they made spearheads um, and arrowheads or more spearheads out of and knives well, look at that it's perfect and they're so sharp there's uh, literally millions here all the rejects yeah and a lot of art in this little spot here just have a look up. Very famed, quite fainted, fainted, faded. But uh, little bits everywhere. You walk along, and the, all the walls are just absolutely covered in mainly hunting type pictures of kangaroos and spears. But there are literally hundreds and hundreds on this wall. No one ever comes here. It's just beautiful. Absolutely magnificent, all this artwork. It just goes on and on and on. On these walls. This panel here is about 20 feet long. It just keeps going. Beautiful spot. Nice roof. The river's, the river's just down there. Um, big flat area down here. But the main reason they would have been here was 
in the afternoon shade and the flint here is really really good you can see these rocks with it just chipped away and chipped away and chipped away until they got just the right piece and, uh, the shells everywhere of course that's uh you're gonna bring you gotta bring feed with you so there's lots of shells and um a lot of these flint chips they chipped off the walls there too must be really high quality flint another pretty deep 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 cave Keeps going down there, you can't see the end of it. it, sort of goes around the corner. Lots of these caves around. Here's another area that's been quarried for spearheads and you can actually see up here on this rock where they've got bits of nice sharp flint off that. Right up top there. Same down here you can see where it's all been chiselled away. Quite incredible. Go another bit of a look around this corner and start heading back because the uh, the tide's dropping. I don't want the dinghy high and dry. What's happening, babe? I'm just heading through. Wollaston Island and someone told me that there might be rock art up here so we're gonna go and have a look. Yeah. And I've just I've just built a dinghy an anchor buddy which is an elasticated bit of rope that you put on a stern anchor so you come in with a dinghy to the beach you um, pull on the elastic so it, stre it stretches full length Hop out of the dinghy, let go of the dinghy, put the front anchor down, and look, voila, it doesn't get blown on the beach. Is it well trodden path, babe? No, no, we're pioneers. Yeah. There's big jellyfish, hands, a rocket, guitar. Look at the size of these wanginas. There's a, a wanginer, just started one. And then you've got some really ornate colouring ins with lines a lot more over there that big one there has been drawn on top of of this one you see the legs coming down here and there's the head and there's the halo hair and then this one here um, is the one that's been drawn on top of that one it's just so much art. Another one over here. This guy here. And then up here. Can't quite work that one out. 
There's another little bit there. And up here there's a little tiny, tiny onjuna here. And then um, a lot of older stuff. Lots of jellyfish and fish. Like here you've got a school of fish by the looks of it. Dunno. And here's a coloured in hand. Another hand. And here sideways, you've got a yellow ghoulie man. And then, 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 there you go, there's Wendy in reference. <laughs> how, big, how big that is. And then you've got another man painted under it. So the, this one here is painted on top, of, on top of this one here. Goes down, only five toes on these. A lot of them have six toes. I'll zoom in. Oops. Maybe they have people with six toes. And then we've got, I'll we'll just get up a step here. Some uh, beautiful stuff here. And then a very happy dancing man or woman. And there. More hands. Different hands again. And then you've got some two-tone up here, with the white outline and dots. Now dots came later on. Just like, try not to fall over. Here's some more very happy people dancing. And it just keeps going down there. These marks in the rock here is where they sharpen their spears and knives, etc. And then this cave I'm in, the ceiling is just covered in art. You can't really see on this angle, but I'll take some photos to show you. It's pretty incredible. And a quick gecko around the cave. What overhang? Just a big flat rock overhang. And around here. And back out over there. It's a pretty cool spot. How the weather. Let's just found another cave. It's got a lot of a big panel here. Not very ornate, very um Very bold artwork. Yeah, there's a lot, it's very weathered. So he goes down to his head there. He's got some sort of headpiece on. And you think he's that big? And elbow pieces is the other hand. That's huge. And then there's the body. And there's two legs going down. That's massive. Yeah. You gotta step back sometimes, eh? Yeah. So, and there's I more think that's there. a fish with a fin. Two yeah. Two yeah, fish. two fish. That is two. Two fish. So you got the fish. One, two, and three. I can't quite reach. Lots of dots in these paintings. Look 
at this beautiful tree. It's just pickledy pickledy. The anchor buddy has worked a treat. Look at that, it's just sitting there beautifully. And the wind's, it's on shore. So that would think you would normally be on the beach. That would be perfect. Trying to get a silver trevally that was very enticed by the uh, lure. Oh, well, one job. Yeah, one job, and I'm getting uh, taken over by the mangrove here. Well, we've just left the area of Dog Ear Bay, and we are heading to, well, possibly Scott Strait. Depends on how quickly we go, because you've got to get the tides right to get through it. So. Um, we get there by half past 11 we'll look at the wind and decide whether to go through or we'll spend the night on what's called capstan in capstan island capstan island and then go through tomorrow with the tides so that's where we at we had a lovely uh day at um what's it called wollaston island mm. wollaston island checking out the art and we're moving on now see ya
down. Pretty spectacular. There's rocks so everywhere. We've come to the end now. About a metre deep here. Too rocky, too shallow. And our going tide. And the only time we could come in was now. But wow. What impressive. a stunning, stunning place. The rocks are on top, balancing. Yeah, up there. What is it? Oh, God. Oh, that's that size. Is it? How big is the size? 40? Just check. Yeah, okay. Doesn't feel like Australia. Fish on. Oh, really? Well, we'll know if we start going backwards, I suppose. Does it feel like a fish? Yep. Shark. Can you see it? No. You just think it's a shark? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's there. A oh, little mackerel. It's too small. A little Spaniard. A little baby. Is it Spaniard or spotty? I don't know. Stripey. It's got to go back anyway. Too little. here and this creek going in you can just see where the deep water is by the colour of the water which goes all the way out to there but it's a bit shallow right now hmm. it's, it must be strong enough to shape the that bit down look oh two where Turtle. Turtle. Oh, he's swimming both arms. Arms. 